हेलो अंकल यूसुफ अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम अबू हाउ वाज द क्लास टुडे इट वाज गुड अंकल डू यू वांट टू लिसन टू द स्टोरी ऑफ अबू दरदा रजी अल्लाह तआला अनहु टुडे यस अंकल प्लीज गो अहेड बिस्मिल्लाहिर रहमानिर रहीम द स्टोरी ऑफ अबू दरदा रजी अल्लाह तआला अनहु अबू दरदा रजी अल्लाह तआला अनहु वाज वन ऑफ द कंपेनियंस ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम His full name was Wamir bin Zaid bin Qais. He was a trader in Medina. He was a man of simplicity and kindness. He was a well-known wealthy person in Medina and everyone liked and respected him. He was not a born Muslim. However, after the battle of Badr, he got converted into Islam. His preachings were basically focused on the insignificance of worldly wealth. Alhamdulillah, he is such a great person. That is correct my son. He was a marvelous person who was keen on following the path of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hazrat Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu always enlightened the youth with his great wisdom. Once Hazrat Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was walking through the street and found a group of youth sitting and chatting they were also looking at the passerby abu darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu walked to them and said my children the monastery of a muslim man is his house in which he controls himself and lowers his gaze beware of sitting in the marketplace as this fritters away time in vain pursuits he once said None of you can be pious unless he is knowledgeable and he cannot enjoy knowledge unless he applies it practically. Once a friend went to visit him at his home. On reaching Abu Darda's house, he realized that the house was very small, shorter than the whole height of a standing man. Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu lived in a very poor environment and he had very few belongings when the friend saw the state of his house he was sad he said why are you living like a poor man do not worry my dear friend this is just a temporary home i am building a better house somewhere else the friend thought it was true and left the house A few years later the same friend went back and found Abu Darda's radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu home in the same state He asked Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu that why he hadn't moved to the better house It was then Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu revealed him that the house he referred to was the qabr The friend understood the nobility of this person and thanked him for teaching him a lesson once abu darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was traveling from his home to a nearby place there he saw a group of people beating up a man when he approached the mob he saw that the man was beaten and berated by them he was helpless he wished all the men standing there in a gentle voice assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam our beloved abu darda they wished him back with great respect With his calm and polite voice he asked one of them My son may I know what is happening here why are you all beating this man the man replied Beloved Abu Darda this man did something against the law he committed a grievous sin that's why we are punishing him Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was silent for a moment and sighed The man in the middle was eagerly looking at Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu for mercy Abu Darda radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu looked at everyone standing there and said All right my dear children if this man fell into a well won't you help him to get out of the well one man came forward and said sure yes Abu Darda said then you should treat this man in the same way you should instruct him and convince him about the sin he has committed you should show him the right path give thanks to allah as he always forgives your sin a man came forward then and asked him don't you hate him abu darda replied in a calm voice 
I hate his deeds, not him. He has to stop his sinful actions. If he gives up all his sins, then he is my brother. On hearing Abu Darda's kind words, the sinful man realized his mistake and started crying. He repented and led a good life afterwards. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a famous merchant once upon a time. But after he met the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he lost his interest in doing business. And he was always found accompanying the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Once his friend asked him why he's not showing interest in his business anymore. He replied, Before I met the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I was a merchant. Then, after converting to Islam, I tried to lead a life of prayers along with my business. Then I realized that I was not able to give my full devotion to Allah because of my business. I did not want my business to affect my bond with Allah. That is why I chose to stay close to Allah rather than to my business. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu made himself free from a lot of worldly attachments. On a very cold night, some pilgrims visited his house. Abu Darda asked the pilgrims to spend the night at his house. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu gave them a warm meal but did not give them a blanket. When they were about to go to sleep, they realized that Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu had not given them any blankets. One man from the pilgrim group wanted to ask Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu about the blanket. But others discouraged him and told them not to disturb him as he must be sleeping. But the man didn't listen to them and went straight to Abu Darda's room. There he found him lying down on the floor with his wife sleeping beside him. They both were sleeping without a blanket as well. The next day morning, the man went straight to Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu and asked why he slept in the cold night without covering himself with a blanket. He asked him, Being a businessman, where is your wealth and possessions? He replied to the man, I shifted all my valuables to the other house in the village. I am collecting all the required possessions into that house. He also said, If there were any blanket here, I would definitely give that to you. The man realized what he had meant. He bowed down respectfully and left his house. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu did not leave the trade altogether. He just left the word ornaments and glory. He needed a bite of bread which was enough to strengthen the body and rough clothes to cover the body. During the time of Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu was selected as a high-ranking official in Sham. However, Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu rejected the appointment. Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked him the reason for his decision. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, If you want me to go to Sham, then I am going to teach them the Holy Quran and I will ask them to pray along with me. The Caliph agreed and Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu carried out his mission successfully. Then Abu Darda went to Damascus. There he found the people leading an immoral life. They drank too much and were completely immersed in luxury and pleasures of the world. Seeing this, Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu became very sad. Therefore, he called the crowd to the mosque and then spoke to them. He made a very spiritual and emotional speech in the mosque. He reminded them of the evil life they were living. He taught them about the commandment of Allah. He advised them the need of leading a holy life with the Holy Quran as the foundation of their life. He taught them about the love of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. On hearing the speech of Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the crowd started crying. His speech had created a strong feeling of repentance in their heart. Their cry could be heard outside the mosque. Everyone gathered at the mosque 
changed their way of life that day. From that day, Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu regularly visited the assemblies of Damascus community and visited the markets. People used to come and ask him questions on various matters. He answered every question and enlightened them with his wisdom. He even found time to teach the negligent in the street. He used all the opportunities available to teach the public about the Holy Quran. Once, a youth came up to Abu Darda ta'ala anhu and asked him to teach him. He said, My son, remember Allah in good times and He will remember you in times of misfortune. My son, be knowledgeable, seek knowledge, be a good listener and do not be ignorant for you will be ruined. While Abu Darda ta'ala anhu was in Damascus, Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan ta'ala anhu, the governor asked Abu Darda to get his daughter married to his son Yazid ta'ala anhu. The governor thought that Abu Darda ta'ala anhu would agree immediately as his family held a great power. But Abu Darda ta'ala anhu did not agree his proposal. Instead, he got his daughter married to a young man who was very poor. He did not care about the wealth or the power of the governor. Abu Darda was pleased with the young man's character and his attachment to Islam. And that's why he got his daughter married to him. My dear Abu, there are a lot of stories about Abu Darda Razillahu ta'ala anhu. It's time for prayer now. And I have to go to the masjid. I'll tell you a different story tomorrow. Sure, uncle. I will wait for you tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. You're such a bright boy. Now you go and have some snacks. Let me leave. Ma'as-salama. May Allah bless you.